and, and it's been better than some people expected. But now you're dealing with injury after injury. You've got 10 healthy guys seven games into the season. Like, how do you keep that, if you can, from derailing this good start that you guys have gotten off to? Uh, I mean, like you said, you know, we're, we're suffering with the injuries right now. Um, but, you know, of course, like, we have to step up, next man up. Um, and I think the first half, we were the battle. You know, we were down by two points. But then the second half, uh, you know, just our energy was not there. Um, I feel like there was there was good things, you know, uh, to take from this game. Uh, we have another one on Wednesday. Hopefully we'll have more bodies on Wednesday. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to to play uh, our game like we did in Atlanta. Um, but, you know, I just want to say that we really did our everything for tonight. We really compete. And... Uh, but we were shorthanded. And uh, like I said, there's a lot of good things that we can take from the game and we're going to be focused on uh, Wednesday right now. I know you said next man up and, and that's the mentality that everybody is going to have. And J.P. Vickerstaff said it is what it is. But does does it get to a point where it becomes too much to overcome? Uh, I mean, you know, we only had a, a Colin as a point guard. And, um, you know, I... Dad was playing a little bit. I was playing a little bit. So uh, I think we, we handled good in the first half. But like I said, the second half was the one, especially that third quarter when they made their run. You know, Aaron Gordon, make, uh, he made a lot of shots tonight. Uh, obviously, uh, Vucic played great tonight. But I felt like if we would just be able to keep him close, I think would be right there to win a game. But like I said, just our energy was not there tonight, especially in the third quarter because of the – Short, short, uh, because I was being shorthanded. But, uh, like I said, we battled, we did our everything we could. And, uh, now it's time just to leave this game behind and uh, focus on Wednesday. That's what we can do really right now. Knowing everything that he's gone through throughout the course of his career, Dante Exum, how tough was it to see him go down that early into the game, Jetty? Yeah, it was, it was really tough. Um, you know, thank God that nothing bad. You know, just, uh, uh, you know, nothing bad. That's that's the most important thing because, you know, uh, we're thinking that something bad happened, really. And that wouldn't be a really huge shock for everybody. But like I said, thank God it nothing important. So, uh, uh, you know, he, he's playing great. He had a great game against Atlanta. He did a great job against Trey Young. And, you know, he's, uh, he's a really important piece for our team. And, uh, you know, seeing him getting injured was a really shock for everybody. Like I said, thank God he he will be fine. Joe G, go ahead. Hey, Joe G, has that come? Uh, you personally, you got off to a, a really <clears throat> nice start to the season off the bench. Uh, then you kind of had that rough start against New York and maybe against Indiana, but it seems like you're finding your rhythm again these last two games. Do you prefer coming off the bench? It seems like that's where you're, you played your best. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it it is like, so first of all, like when I came here, of course, I didn't know what to expect, you know, because I didn't talk to JB because we were away from each other for not, uh, for like almost, uh, I don't know how many months, for how many, for nine months. So, uh, you know, we, we were talking, but we weren't talking about the season at all. So that's why uh, when I came here, so, you know, he told us that whoever deserved, you're going to be a starter. And obviously, uh, Isaac deserved, deserved more. And that was, of course, JB's, uh, JB's decision. We got to respect that. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to adjust to my role, uh, coming off the bench. And, um, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have nothing against that. And, uh, you know, I always doesn't matter really if I'm starting or if I'm coming off the bench, as long as I'm giving my best for my team, that's, that's what most matters. So, uh, I'm going to just keep doing my thing and, um, uh, you know, Trying to help the team. Thanks, Shane. Yeah. Spencer. Spencer Davies, basketballnews.com. Jetty, what allows you to get into a rhythm? Because it looked like you were playing with a really nice pace tonight, uh, you know, finding guys, you had that lob, uh, and then you were you hit a three uh, off of a screen, too. It just seemed like you just had a little bit more oomph tonight. So I'm, I'm just curious, you know, kind of what allows you to get in a rhythm and get a good feel for a game? Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a good question. I mean, I'm just trying to 
you know, I'm just trying to get into the game with, with the easy things like, you know, can be an assist, can be in a rebound or can be an easy score. Cause you know, that's, that's the way you're going to get, you know, into rhythm. But tonight I think, uh, it was a, I made a three from the corner and that's how I, that's how I get into rhythm, but really it does not matter. It just, you know, uh, like I said, as long as I'm there doing the best for my team, you know, I'm going to be in the rhythm no matter what. So, but you know, tonight, uh, you know, I was feeling good because uh, New York and Indiana, you know, was not my, uh, just not my games. You know, I was, uh, I was really mad at myself because I know that that's not me. So that's why I'm trying to, I'm trying to catch the rhythm that I, that I was in, a in the first three games. Uh, but, uh, hopefully it, it will be better. I know I, I trust myself. So it's, you know, of course we can have a bad, bad games, but you know, it's just important, like how we're going to respond to the next one. So it's, it's the same for me. And then as a team, when it comes to these injuries and, and losing guys, what's the best way for you guys to get in sync? It's one thing to practice, but when you're in a game setting and that happens and you're, you know, just kind of catches you off guard. I mean, what can you do? Yeah, we just have to stick to the plan. We just have to stay together as a team because uh, we, we have a we have a great veterans in this team. Uh, you know, we have we have Andre, we have uh, P McGee, um, we have Kayla, we have Delhi. So they're really we're really lucky to have them because you know they're the ones who are keeping this team together, and um, so. You know, we just have to stay, stick to the plan because, you know, JB and the uh, coaches, everybody's they're doing the best and uh, they're doing the best for us so we can feel comfortable in the court. And uh, we just have to stick to the plan. And when when things, things are going bad, we just have to stay together, you know, and uh, just support each other no matter what, because, you know, there's going to be a bad games. We can't play great every night, which is, you know, that would be crazy. If we'll play then we'll be an NBA champions. I mean, <laughs> but uh you know, we just we just have to uh, stick together. And if somebody makes a mistake, we, we're going to get him up and, you know, be with him no matter what. That's that's the only way we can be successful. Last two, Angel and then Chris. Angel, or did he get yours? All right. Somewhat, but I'll, I'll – sorry, Chris. Angel Gray Foxworth, Ohio. <laughs> um, Jetty, just playing off of what Spencer was saying, um, just knowing that you can't control the injury aspect of the game, mm -hmm. but also understanding controlling what you can control. You said play to our strengths, but knowing that with this new schedule that you will see this team again in less than 48 hours, what are the things that you can control going into that game that must change to get different outcomes? Yeah, obviously we're going to have to do a better job on, uh, on, on, uh, on Aaron Gordon and, uh, and Vucevic, you know, they're, they're great players, but, you know, and Terrence Ross, of course, because he's the he's the one coming off the bench and he's their uh, leading scorer, I think. So we're going to have to be better defensively and uh, offensively. Like we're going to have to move our bodies because at one point, like I felt like we're just staying at our spots and watching. So we just have to either cut or sacrifice for each other so we can uh, we can find easy baskets. But uh, definitely we have another opportunity on uh, Wednesday. And uh, like I said, hopefully we're going to have uh, more bodies and uh, we're going to watch them tomorrow and try to get better, take the lessons from those game and then uh, come out and play our best game. And hopefully we'll win. Last one. Go ahead, Chris. Jetty, I've got the most important question of the year for you thus far. Um, did you realize that the PA announcer here in the arena continued to call you Yeti Ashman? He did. He did, yeah. I'm going to talk to him. Right Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you, didn't, I didn't you didn't hear that? No. Was he really? I didn't yeah. realize. I, I didn't. I mean, I wasn't even focused on uh, over there, but okay. Thank you for telling me that. I mean, on Wednesday, I'm, I'm going to be all listening to him. And if I see him, I'll be like, hey, man. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I mean, it's Jetty, you know? <laughs> it's not Yeti. Oh, okay, I understand. It's not my first year. Like, my first year, I had like, CD, you know, we okay. It was cool. I understand, but I mean, it's my fourth year, so uh, I'm gonna talk to him. It's okay. 